Hi, I'm here with another vlog for you today. Um, this time I'm going to talk about Sirens by Joseph Knox. Uh, this is actually the author's debut novel. There's a follow-up out in March, I believe, called The Smiling Man. Um, it was a book I really enjoyed. I picked it up because it was the Waterstones thriller of the month. The book's set in uh, underground, uh, kind of Manchester area. Um, there's lots of kind of drug dealers, people who live this really dirty, gritty, difficult kind of life. Um, but it's also kind of juxtaposed with the uh, MP for the area, who's a fairly prominent character in the novel. He is uh, looking for his daughter, who's run away. And he lives in, you know, these, this beautiful penthouse and he has a, a wonderful car. So it's really kind of a comparison between the have and have nots uh, in the city. You can definitely tell that uh, some of his inspirations have been Raymond Chandler, Dashiell Hammett, uh, that sort of thing. The really kind of like hard boiled noir side of crime industry. Um, and it really shows, I think, with his writing. It feels like um, I've read an 800 page novel in only 400 pages. That is kind of the level of detail and character development that he manages to squeeze in. Um, I feel like I know the characters really well, but yet they're still kind of mysterious at the same time. Uh, I know that's a bit of a contradiction, but yeah, it's just the way he writes. It's just his style. Um, which I really enjoyed. You know, he's got, he's quite the master of having, yes, some of his chapters are longer and um, more detailed, but he's, he's, um, he's quite the one for putting in a really short chapter with, with an event or a bit of violence or something like that, that will just shock you and make you think, well, I could read one more chapter before bed, you know? Um, so I think that really keeps the novel pacey and moving along uh, really well. The main character is a detective called Aidan Waits and he is actually fairly disgraced. He's committed um, crimes kind of in the line of duty. Um, and he, yeah, he definitely is not a one of the good guys. Um, he's definitely a figure who walks kind of in the gray areas. You know, um, ultimately I think if someone said to me, is he a good guy or a bad guy? I'd say, well, he's not a bad guy but I don't know if I could answer the question and that he could just be, you know, this, um, he's not this kind of heroic good guy, kind of all, all, all action hero figure. Um, he's definitely got his own kind of demons, which is hinted at in the book um, with his childhood. Um, he grew up in care and he kind of relates some of those experiences, which I hope um, they're going to be built on for the second novel. I, I really enjoyed the book. I'm, I'm not usually one to read kind of like gangland type of thrillers, but this one, you know, really surprised me. It had a lot more to it. Um, the plotting was excellent. Uh, there was a point where I thought I, was, I felt very smug because I thought I knew exactly what was going on. Uh, turns out I didn't. He kept surprising me by bringing these uh, extra kind of twists and turns, which is why I kind of almost don't want to talk about the plot too much because it's really easy to spoil this book, I think, in my opinion. Um, but I would say anyone who likes a good thriller, especially those who have loved the kind of noir in the past, it even kind of gave me a little kind of shades of maybe um, Ian Rankin's Rebus novels. Um, just what with kind of, you know, uh, the hard-boiled nature and uh, Rebus's past in the Rebus novels as well. If you like those sort of things, which I do, um, you'll really enjoy Sirens. I'm really looking forward to uh, The Smiling Man um, coming out in March, so hopefully um, I'll get to read that one soon because he does leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger. And if, um, slight plug here, if you get the Waterstones edition, you will get um, a short story called The Ghosts of Deansgate. And you also get the first couple of chapters, I think, of uh, The Smiling Man, which uh, starts off very interestingly indeed. Ultimately, I really enjoyed reading this. Um, I felt like it was a really great overall experience. And uh, I would encourage anyone who's even slightly interested to pick it up. Um, it's a great experience for someone who likes modern crime novels, um, but also someone who maybe likes that golden age of uh, detectives, uh, noir, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening to me today and subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more from us vloggers. Thank you. Bye.